Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the psalms. My friends today we are praying Psalm 40. The author of Psalm 40 is David. In Psalm 38 and Psalm 39 we have seen David suffering from some kind of sickness, a very serious sickness, illness. And that's where he prayed to God to rescue him. But in Psalm 40 we can see David thanking the Lord for the recovery that he received from the pit of destruction that is his ill health bad health so he seems to have recovered from his ill health sickness and so he is thanking the Lord in Psalm 40 now Psalm 40 can be divided into two sections again in section 1 that is verses 2 through 12 all these verses we can see david is full of gratitude to god most likely david received blessings from the lord and this blessing is recovery from his ill health let us now read verses to find out this verse 3 6 and 11 he wrote like this lord you drew me from the pit of destruction out of the mud out of the muddy clay Verse 6 Yes you O Lord my God have done many wondrous deeds Verse 11 I do not conceal your righteousness within my heart which means I do not keep it secret your goodness I speak of your loyalty and your salvation I do not hide your mercy and faithfulness from a great assembly which means David wants to confess to all the people of the good things God has done on God did to him in his life. And so that's where David is full of praise and thanks to God. And so he is full of gratitude to God. Now, verses 13 through 18, we can take this, we can consider this as section 2, wherein very clearly we can see David is pleading with the Lord for his mercy, for his help, which means David is not through the problems yet. Yes of course he received blessings especially through his through the recovery but then he has other problems especially his enemies his enemies have not left him and so he is asking the lord he is praying to the lord he is begging the lord to 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 help him out so let us now read verse 13 and 14 but evil surround me evil means the enemies until they cannot be counted so there are so many so many enemies trying to catch him trying to harm him 14 lord graciously rescue me come quickly to help me o lord and so he is pleading with the lord he is he is entreating the lord to really help him out now what happens next is a kind of very astonishing thing for us to know it's a kind of surprise package from david david who was in deep trouble because of his enemies never pray to god that they be destroyed that they be really annihilated that they be killed rather he prayed to god that these enemies might go back in shame and confounded that they go that they go back in disgrace he never prayed that they be really destroyed or killed beautiful thing let us now read verse 15 to to confirm this May those may those who seek to destroy my life be shamed and confounded turn back in disgrace those who desire my ruin beautiful wonderful thing the psalmist david doesn't stop surprising us with what he said previously he continues to surprise us by saying that lord those who seek you those who want you may always be happy and rejoice in you and he says further that those who long for your salvation may always proclaim that the lord is great my friends we long for his salvation we want to be happy in the lord so we always have to say yes the lord is great the lord is wonderful the lord is powerful my friends with all these thoughts we shall now pray psalm 40 
surely I wait for the Lord who bends down to me and hears my cry draws me up from the pit of destruction out of muddy clay sets my feet upon the rock steadies my steps and puts a new song in my mouth a hymn to our God many shall look on in fear and they shall trust in the Lord Bless the man who sets his security in the Lord, who turns not to the arrogant or to those who stray after falsehood. You, yes, you, O Lord my God, have done many wondrous deeds. And in your plans for us, there is none to equal you. Should I wish to declare or tell them, too many are they to recount. Sacrifice and offering you do not want. who opened my ears. Holocaust and sin offering you do not request. So I said, see, I come with an inscribed scroll written upon me. I delight to do your will, my God. Your law is in my inner being. When I sing of your righteousness in a great assembly, see, I do not restrain my lips. As you, Lord, know, I do not conceal your righteousness within my heart. I speak of your loyalty and your salvation. I do not hide your mercy or faithfulness from a great assembly. Lord, may you not withhold your compassion from me. May your mercy and your faithfulness continually protect me. But evil surrounds me until they cannot be counted. My sins overtake me So that I can no longer see. They are more numerous than the hairs of my head. My courage fails me. Lord, graciously rescue me. Come quickly to help me, Lord. May those who seek to destroy my life be shamed 
and confounded. Turn back in disgrace those who desire my ruin. Let those who say to me, aha, be made desolate on account of their shame. While those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your salvation always say, the Lord is great. Though I am afflicted and poor, my Lord keeps me in mind. You are my help and deliverer. My God, do not delay. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for the many blessings. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this life. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of this wonderful, beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for this great fellowship. We are able to come together, pray, adore, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for giving us Psalm 40. Meditating, reflecting, and praying Psalm 40. We come to know that you rescued David. You showered your abundant blessings on David when he was in deep troubles. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the assurance that you would always stand by your people. Now, as we begin the new day, stand by us. Take us ahead with your strength and with your power. Help us always to trust in you. Make us always believe in you. Increase our faith in you. Make us your children. Make us read your word every day. Make us also to spread your love, your kindness, your mercy to other people. May all people come near you, come to you and worship you and get the salvation that you want to give all of us. Lord, bless all the people who watch this program, praying through the Psalms. Bless their homes, bless their concerns. May they know, may all of us know that you are always watching us. You are there to protect us and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Our God is a wonderful God, caring God, loving God, a God who protects his people whenever they pray to him in great faith. This is what the message that we get praying Psalm 40. Thanks for watching our program. Kindly keep watching our program on JCK Creations, both on Facebook page and YouTube channel. You may also spread your word about this program with your friends and other people. They could be part of this program and benefit as well. See you next with Psalm 41. Until then, take care. God bless.